Good morning, everyone. This is Bremster, and of course, this is me continuing into Chapter 4 of Life is Strange. Um, the end of the last chapter, and there will be, I'm assuming, previously on, and the end of the last chapter. Um, I've played through this game before, but I did not remember that, and oh my lord, that brought a tear to the eye. So we will see what happens now, I suppose. Um... As always, please remember to like the stream if you're watching live or video um, if you're watching this afterwards. And yeah, these videos have actually had some engagement um, and I can see why these this is just amazing. So hopefully people are going to enjoy this one. Um, although the way this story took a turn, whew, we'll see how it goes. Um, let's continue. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, Kana. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't That's fine. Come near me. Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. It's still kind of getting me. I'm assuming there was nothing I could do to change that one. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Now I'm understanding that. People should absolutely get this game and play it and make their own choices and see how different it is. Hey, Eric. I kind of dreaded coming back yesterday. It's good to have the three of you here. house again. So when it was her in the dark room, I was wondering if it's because this is a photography thing. I really don't remember. <laughs> 
This is nuts. Hang on. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Uh. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. It just seems like Arcadia Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. This is Hanging so out weird. With you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. I was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Holy shit. I mean, I feel the game put me into this, but, like, as you're playing Max, and Max is kind of responsible for this, you kind of feel like shit. Pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. 
They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You what sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god, we covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. I, I know as a streamer I'm supposed to say something, but I'm not sure what to say. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Holy shit. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. No, she can once. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. I haven't watched Quantum Leap in ages.
Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. I didn't add much. Bad, Max. The snow globes are taking over. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Here's the DVD. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. It's a close approximation of what the opening of Blade Runner is kind of like a few minutes in. Without being close enough to get copyright struck. It's another movie I haven't watched in a while. believe you fell asleep so fast <laughs> how dare you i know you were beat down after the day with me and blade runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night <laughs> uh, do you do you think deckard is a replicant sorry i can see you're not wide awake like me no i'm sorry i crashed so hard were you okay i do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me you are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Holy shit. This insurance is worthless. The stain's gone. Okay. Victoria and Nathan were worried? Victoria likes us now? Thanks again for taking me to see my mum. I think she would... Nathan? Yeah, make sure you were in the dark room. What? What is going on? Happy birthday, Mexican capital. 18 whole years. 
This is your mum. We need to talk about some of your bills. I can't text in every class. Some teachers get so pissed. Sorry, long day of homework. You're not the only one. That's why we're wondering if you need to spend so much. Alyssa? I'm an asshole to Alyssa now? These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good, or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but... Uh... I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? Being around you and Joyce again is... so... nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? So I'm just... What out? I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question? Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed, but she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. You act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. I... No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. 
Choices of food coupon boss. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. They're drowning in debt just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Oh my god. One of the reasons I'm glad I live in Australia, I, well, for most of my life, who knows what it'll be like in a decade. Chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I never heard much about William's brother. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee new parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe you'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Aaron. Oh. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. Uh. I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? I guess we stopped growing up together. Can I get the light switch? Oh, it's inside. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Nothing here. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. 
I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. This, this is rough. No, I don't think Joyce's tips will cover all this. <laughs> Nothing but medical supplies. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. It puts the lotion on the skin. There's the old Chloe. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but... Get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Not that she can get to the magazines. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along. And I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible 
And you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Oh, wow. Chloe, I, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean... There's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but... I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once. I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please. Help me, Max. Oh, good lord. I know it's only a game, but lord. I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together, forever. I'm glad I live in a place where There is a serious discussion happening about so assisted much. suicide. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Don't have a monitoring system and don't have William come in. I'm sorry, William. Yeah. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting. Test. Wow! Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Well, there's no changing my mind now. He's never leaving. That makes 
all about it. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. That was rough. This song is great on the soundtrack. Chloe, you're alive, yes. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me? I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Wow. Welcome back to the real world, Max. My wallet. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. Oh my lord, that was insane. It's amazing how many people in the world who feel that assisted suicide and helping people like not have to go through incredible pain and suffering are the same ones who believe that <laughs> violence and gun death is a positive thing. It, it just breaks my brain. I wonder if I blocked this out because I've watched someone die in agony now. I don't know. Someone I, like, literally the, one of the people I love most in the world. Sorry, I'm just taking a sec. Okay. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. That I want to be. So 
so close yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, uh, what, what things? things? <laughs> One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. Too bad I don't have a gun anymore. Yes, that's the solution. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. You didn't even let me take that money to pay Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. To be. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. Well, not from his perspective. This is so weird. Oh no, that poor little bird has been trapped in here. Fly, be free. I don't care if that has ramifications. That's the right thing to do. Wales, windmill, skeleton with a skateboard. I'm sure some of these photos, that's the can at the, I can't even, that's a, near the lighthouse. I'm not sure where these will be taken. The tails making the love hearts a bit weird. I mean, the only, uh, there was an open window photo. Was this the open window photo? No. Okay. That was a rough decision. I suppose it would have made no difference if I assisted her or not, but working on the multiple um, universe thing. I suppose there's a Max in the past who's dealing with, like, manslaughter charges. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you. Ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Yep, locked from the other side. Why? When it didn't get in. What do you want, Warren? Hang on.
Thanks for helping me with my experience with Doug Marston. I've given you credit for blowing me up to an A-plus on the test. Your friend Chloe texted me saying I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get why. Wow, messages from everyone. Two from Richard Marsh. I wanted to let you know that Kate's services next week and our family would like to extend an invitation to you. I know you've been through a lot and we fully understand if you can't attend. Kate was our special angel and your friendship with her blessed us all. I'll attend the service if, like, the city doesn't blow up. What the heck does Courtney have to say? Oh, of course, the makeover for the party. Yeah, we know about the weather, Justin. Juliet? So we to say my nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. Some kind of school prank. I like the no emoji thing. This is scary. But then again, I've still got texts from people who aren't with us anymore in my phone. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Okay. He didn't take his guns. That's a bit weird. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Joyce, you know, I'm not good at explaining myself or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I overstep bounds with the... Something, something, and suspicion. Surveillance and suspicion. I'm truly sorry and ashamed, but there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay... I've never told you. You are my wife and partner, and I know we would have no secrets. I intended to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof. Instead, a student committed suicide on my watch. You kicked me out of my favorite home, and my stepdaughter hates me. Oh, boy. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Yeah, she kind of did. But it didn't turn out so well. Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. We did... I did sign the petition. Oh, that's why. It's like, should I have signed it? Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. 
Hey, David, what you hiding? But we had the com combination earlier. Wasn't it one, seven, one, seven? Although he may have reset it. And that's me trying to remember. Shit. For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, and I need to find a way to break this padlock. The code, I did see that padlock with the combination set in an earlier stream, but I can't remember what it was. How do I break the padlock? It could have been 7171. And this is me just trying to do it from memory, of course. And I'm probably wrong because I'm terrible. Memory. Oh, yes. That was it. I knew that number would be important. Thank you. Notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. What the heck? It's a GPS on Chloe's van. Needs to learn more about what three words. That's the fight with Nathan. There's a camera on Chloe's van? Where was that taken? That's outside the dorm room. Score. Back to Chloe now. Thanks, Butterfly. I can't remember, believe I remembered the combo. Drama this living room has seen. I just wish I could have drawn the butterfly oh, and not Chloe. had it erased so many times. Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. I don't remember any of this. Was a rough beginning to the chapter. Hey, Max, how you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. And actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. 
No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. I remember. Oh, poor teacher. I thought I remembered actually entering the contest. Detail. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. <laughs> Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. I was sure I remembered entering the contest. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. Maybe you should try different subjects. Something more like your portraits. That makes sense, but not if I can't choose the subjects in class. If only I could draw my photographs. I think I'll just sit here bummed out, thanks. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. Daniel, your drawings are your photographs. So draw your photos with your eyes and make the camera your lens pen. Lens pen? Oh, I dig that, Max. That could work for me. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, but he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Hey, Daniel. You... Hola, Max. Daniel, you're drawing... Lens pen. Oh, I dig that, Max. That could work for me. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anybody, Max. <laughs> but, oh... I did actually have a conversation with Brooke. She was very sad about Kate. So am I. And angry. We should stop going to class and stage a protest. Uh, but that's not going to happen at Blackwell. Yet. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. <laughs> That's exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but I'll go. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Accessibility upgrades. <sighs> My sweet Kate. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. 
That's so ironic Sad. that Warren asked Max mad. to drive it. Hey, Brooke, how are you? Considering what happened to Kate, I could be better. Are you okay? I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. <sighs> Hello, Max. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. <laughs> I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding, not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here, unless you know something I don't. I wonder if the Tabanga knows more than anybody here. Oh, Max, nobody even knows who brought the Tabanga here. It was likely stolen from the South Pacific by local fishermen. But I know what you're saying. There's a lot of energy here. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Oh, Max. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. Kate is the sweetest student I've ever met at Blackwell. And they can be so cruel to each other. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless, given what happened with Kate. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just... Wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. No way it is. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. Mm -hmm. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Samuel misses his squirrel. One photo, for posterity. into the boys' dormitories.
coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. So lame, they don't have colored dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Well, if it's anything like the girls' one, there'll be a map. Who needs a dorm map anyway? Oh, good God. At least I can see that Nathan isn't in room 106 or 108. 108. Probably... Yeah, I'm not sure. God, boys are such pigs. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. <laughs> um. oh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. So which way am I supposed to be going here? So... None of the doors were interactable. This can only be Nathan's room. Nice work. Holy shit. This is a dorm now we room. Need to find Nathan's phone or anything with clues. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <laughs> Bastard. Uh, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much, but that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happened, so don't bother Defender explaining. I hope you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You can be such a good influence on her unless you both want to play bad. She can't keep blaming David now. I really hope they were all consenting models. Consent is king. That is so Chloe. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. That 
That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. These films all have a dark pattern. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. Nathan took this from Kate's altar. Why? What is with this dude? If they're trying to do the standard... I... Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... It... If they're trying to do this, the whole people who are into fetish and, and sort of dark culture are obviously psychopaths. I don't remember this game doing that, though. Cause... I'd cry, too, if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Because I actually, I mean, I hate that attitude, but I remember loving this game. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Nathan Prescott to Victoria. Hey, gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as style and inexpensive. I'm psyched about going. I'm picking up some serious party favours. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, then it's going to be fucking on, uh, uh, fucking on point, right? Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you and why Kate will get justice. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment any time. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Pan Estates has been developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden. I'll guide you into this room step by step as did my father. It was hard for me when... When my dad opened our eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. The shithole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. To do Bem from Brazil, little away. brother. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting little scholastic life at Blackwell. I bragged to all my co-workers in the Peace Corps that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world, even though I can't always check my mail or phone. Please, please, please send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you and your pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and father has been on your ass. But you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. I know I love, you know I love dad Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one just for family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just wanted to make you feel at home. Back to the mangrove. Sending out good thoughts, better write back or I'll have a Jaguar ship to your dorm. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. But we're looking for a phone. Hang on, scratch marks. That means the sofa can move. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. 
Well, before Nathan comes back. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. You are so fucking dead! Yeah. Uh. Get off me, bro! Uh. 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 Lauren, stop it! Come on! Oh, oh my head! Uh. Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you! You're all dead! Let's go, now! Plus? My dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. Entitled fucking rich kids. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. Damn. That was intense. Warren. Uh, Th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. That was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Um, not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um, Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. This is such a weird chapter. Well, not all the birds are dead. God, I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just... Think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is going to help us find Rachel. You know what would be great? If I still had a gun. Yes, the chance for gunplay would just about even the odds here. Frank would scare better. He's a pussy. Besides, if I take him out, you can just rewind. Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. After Kate, I feel like every time I do, it might be the last. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just talk to Frank so we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Uh, 
I expect this is where I take a photo of the whales. There might not be any pan estates by Saturday. This is where my nightmare started. I may not know quantum speak, but there has to be an explanation. Oh, what was the video? There was a video of there was some beached whales somewhere in America, I think it was, and they decided to get rid of them with dynamite. And it went terribly wrong. I think it was in the 80s. And the video is on YouTube. It blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. Holy cow, right. This is the beach. It looks so different. Fresh meat. So Pompidou must be okay. Good doggy. Take the trash out sometime, dude. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. Power is activated. Should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. What the fuck? Oh, is that all? Oh, <laughs> Well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You don't get it, man. This is for a good cause. No, man, I do not get it. Especially from a weirdo like you. You know, I hate the way you talk to me like you, like you know more than I do. No, no, I'm not. I... I... Oh, Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. You're not getting any handouts from me. I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, you're a drug dealer. You snobby whores. Don't come into my home and judge me. That's why I go to church. And you want something from me? How about a blade up the ass, huh? Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. Whoa! Get off of me! Motherfucker! <laughs> One hour a week, Christians. Hooray. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you'd be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Please watch your mouth. You have no social skills here, and you will piss off Frank immediately. You kind of love this, don't you? Fine, I'll try being like you for a change. Or how you used to be. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, or bodyguard. 
So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. No. No. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog. That figures. Okay, there, you're safe. Now, what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Listen, Frank, I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on me. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. I... I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... Dude, she was scared, all right? You pulled your blade on me. We were all freaked out. Now we're all cool. Please? Okay. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Oh, Pompadou is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my RV. That's how we got out. You did it. Are you crazy? That's my dog. Wait, that's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here, and I'll spin you on your ass. What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Not ever tell me what to do. Whoa! Chloe! Get off of me! Motherfucker! Gosh! Yeah, you actually shot me! I wasn't gonna hurt you! Oh, this fucking hurts! Oh, it hurts! Chloe! You shot him! I know! You're both fucking crazy! What do you want? We... we just want the code for your account book. Now! Define! Whatever! Just... just put the goddamn gun down! You already shot me, alright? There. Now leave me alone, all right? Just... just get out of my life. Do you want us to call an ambulance, or...? No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. What? Yeah. Uh this could have gone way worse, but Frank might be more dangerous to Chloe now. <sighs> yes, Max, you can change all this if you want. I'm gonna try.
How far back is it taking me? Like, my hands are off the controls. Oh my god, it takes me all the way back to talking to Chloe. Oh good god, I've got to do the whole thing again. Listen, Chloe. Max, I should have known you'd... Please. You kind of love this stuff. I... I don't have the... Frank, uh... You aim your gun at me, but you're sc Safe. Now what? Just the names of... Oh, is that all? Keys to the RV. I don't want to say you already did. I think I'm sorry is the right option Listen, here. Frank. Yeah, yeah, everything's in. There's no time. Yeah, yeah, well, it always. Come on, Frank, this isn't a. All right, okay. Both of you. Frank, we. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to. Fi I. Finally, I believe you. I, I Do I get another option? Dude, she was We're cool for now. We're only I was the Pompidou Shit, thing. you Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? You have Rachel's bracelet. You obviously know more than you're telling. So tell us. Never come into my home and tell me what to do. Understand? Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Now get out of my face. We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late. She's gone. You don't even know her. Like you did? I loved her, asshole. And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit. You were part of her problem. Always trying to take her away from me. Always. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Do not ever tell me what to do. I've got to skip so I can rewind. I don't want to rewind the whole way, though. No, I don't want to go that f Oh, man, how far back do I have to go? I literally have to go all the way back to the dot, which is the start of the conversation. Okay, this is the worst part of this game design I've ever seen. I can't go back to just the previous option. You've got to go all the way back to the start of the conversation and do all of the conversation options again. This is terrible. I... This is terrible. Please watch your... You kind of love it. This is actually bad game design. I... Frank. You aim... Just the oh, is that all? Listen, Frank. Yeah, yeah, every. There's no time. Yeah, yeah, well. Uh... Come on, Frank, this is. Right, okay. Frank. 
Oh, yeah, you didn't... I... Finally, I believe. I... I tried... Dude, she was... We're cool for... We're only here... Shit, you wouldn't have time. Of course I do. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. That's very cool for... Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I... Frank, you knew Rachel almost better than anybody. And you know more than us. Together, we could find her. Do you have anything to lose? When Rachel vanished, I pretty much lost everything. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Should have just let you rewind to the previous option. Nope, I'm taking that one. That's about the best outcome I can think of. No one got shot. Things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. Yeah, you could always skip stuff that you're replaying. I prefer not to, but in that one, on yeah. Board and start tying these clues together. So these are which clues? The top ones are Frank's clues. Okay. Gather on character by selecting all the correct clues for each section in a specific number of clue to select. Okay. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Okay, I need to look. Okay, so what have we got? So... What happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. So do I know what the week of the party was? There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. But I've got the client names. It's there. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. See if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vortex Club. 
Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. <laughs> that explains a lot. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. GHB? I still can't get over commas as a delin currency delineator. Okay, Max. Remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Not show Ms. Fancy Car. What was the date of the party again? Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did. Look at all these license plates. I hope he was tailing Nathan. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset. Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving David sucks as a detective. Sorry. Does David know what's going on with Rachel or is he just paranoid about everybody? So, journal, do I have information? Of when the party was. have to analyze Nathan's messages. Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. What? But those numbers might be useful. So 0058 Okay. There has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack.
This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. October the 4th. Did okay. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. I think the party is relevant. And probably that. This makes no sense, Max. Okay. Maybe. Better look for any clues or numbers that could be his pen code. Fail. Abort. Wrong clues. I'm really not sure which way to go. Okay, Max. Okay. Let's blow this code up and go home. So it was October 4th that was the party. No, I don't want to do that. I want to look. So surely it's this stuff. Because you'd want to buy in advance, surely. Although the game may not be being that. I mean, at 11 p.m., he was buying five grams of GHB on the night of the party. It's got to include the names. Oh, you can't look at the names. It's not on that one. He bought GHB on the 30th of the 9th as well. So let's select that. Looks like this is not relevant at all. Oh, he's not on that one. Okay. Or that one. Or, so am I looking for other people who bought GHB? Sheba. Nasho bought GHB? Who the But I had that one selected before. If Nathan did drug Kate, he must have gotten the drugs from Frank. And then he bought cocaine at the beach a few days after the party. Actually, he bought, yeah. Those clues are not related. So what is?
This has to be. Pineapple Express, Headweed, Molly. I mean, I don't know what half of this stuff is. Aspirin? Bulldog, $3,000 loan. That seems... can't tell. Oh, yes. Okay. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. I did that before, I thought. That's it, Max. <sighs> David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. Looks like this isn't the right combination. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Looks like this is not relevant at all. <sighs> Fail. Abort. Wrong clues. So that's the the car. Their license plate coordinates. What was on this paper? Maybe that. And that's there all she go. wrote. Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Thanks, Nathan. Wow, this is weird. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is... Yep, another car David was tracking. Oh, Twin Peaks is... Huh. Who else was David tracking here? Chloe. Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? That's Nathan. Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating, as usual. I think. Interesting. Is this Nathan's car? 
Maybe I should have let Warren beat Nathan's ass down. Just this once. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Holy cow. Nathan's car is sex offender. And we know that because... This is the sex defender one, and here we can see Nathan driving it. Oh, yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Start hacking. So it's got to be something on this paper, doesn't it? Nine five three five, maybe. Bad code. Is that nine three nine uh, nine three eight nine nine eight eight or three nine eight eight? Maybe it's five four three one because it he's been working down the list changing his pin number. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Oh, is this going to be like 0829? Because that's the American way of doing his... Hang on, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. 0829, because that's his birthday? Surely he wouldn't do that. And that's the American way of doing it, isn't it? It's the way it works. So if you're not American, you can have a lot of trouble doing that. Yes. Uh, this is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Oh, Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. Mm. He didn't have enough drugs. Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan, you're out of control. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. No, Nathan, it's time for you to watch out. Ask Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Okay, more investigate. Take Hold. a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party.
So we know that the flyer is saying so that the party... this infamous party was the 4th. 4th at 8pm. Fourth at eleven PM Boondocks. So it's that one. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? That beach is like Frank's main office. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? If Joyce knew what Nathan did to Chloe, she would fry his ass. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <laughs> Poor, rich Nathan. But there's nothing there in the fourth. Not much out there. Fourth at ten fifty six. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. Hey, we've I'm seen sure. Aaron before. Should we call the police? Fuck that. William's brother was named Aaron. Like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Hey, what about the Vortex Club party that we were invited to? I thought we saw a trailer for that party at the end of episode 3. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Did I make a choice that means I'm not going to see the party? Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, Don't you love the way her necklace does, isn't affected by gravity? Then we need to get in that barn. I'm cool with it. It's a video game. Squirrel. I found the front door. Come on. Oh, yes. 
Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. Can I get some, like, control again, please? There's a few things I'd like to... Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. The Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. So I got an SMS from Warren. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay. Thanks for pulling me off, Nathan. Talk about going ape. He deserved to beat down, but I don't want to stoop to his level. Besides, somebody is going to kick his ass sooner than later. You're wise, grasshopper. Thanks, but I wasn't exactly the hero this town needs. You, paid, you still paid your hero dues. Now we just need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to the party tonight so we can celebrate. So there is a party tonight. Okay, so the party is yes, tonight. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. It's not exactly a selfie. Someone else took the photo. That's a portrait. It's different. This tractor has paid its dues. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. No more secrets, Sean Preston. <sighs> Nothing here. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Ah, brains. Boring. Boring. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. Ah, the good old days. Eggs, 14 cents. Bacon, 70 cents. Coffee, a dollar. Cheers. Is that cocaine, two dollars? So many haystacks, so few needles. Lots of info here. Just rotting wood. Rot, rot, rot on wood. Sorry. I'm trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing. Okay, this is different. Whoa. That's... What is this? It's a door. It's totally brand new. Why? No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay, Chloe. Um... I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. No more secrets, Sean Prescott. Chloe, can you give me a hand? 
Sidekick at your service. I just got a free character boost. I dig having minions. Be careful up there, Max. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Ah. So I needed to drop it down in order to get up here, but then I can summon it back up. No, I'm not pulling it, I'm pushing it. Oh, okay. Max Giver strikes again. Why would I knock it down onto the hatch, though? stairs go do okay. i even need to say how weird this is he just did who built this kind of place have you ever seen the, the girl with the dragon course. tattoo is so surreal. First a padlock, then a digicode. Someone really doesn't want visitors. Oh, think, think. So it's two, four, and five. That's pretty obvious. Oh no, it didn't work. You can do it, Max. Okay, so it's locked. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. Oops, bad code. <sighs> Wrong code. You locked it, dumbass. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. I thought I've now tried everything. So if you work through it numerically, it's going to be the last one you try. Oh, it was two, Eric. Good point. There is no way I was going to remember that. and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Now what the hell is this? 
Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Mushroom, mushroom. Whoa. You must have as nice as probably psychiatrist for over five you. years. I feel I should stop seeing your son as soon as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestions for his and others' well being. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is simple as that. I fear he's becoming even more disconnected from reality, even if he acts in a personable manner. You have ignored my request for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan and I believe he needs serious help. Dr. Jacoby. There's a lot of Twin Peaks references in this. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. Holy cow. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. I, this may seem weird, but I actually quite like that That's artwork. An original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. All this weird shit. So who's using this fancy tripod? Uh, is it really that fancy? I've got one, although I inherited one like that, so, and my father loved his phot photographic equipment, so maybe it's fancy. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. We've seen these before. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh, my God. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel has passed out, and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Let's see what's in here. Oh good God. Oh my God. No. I mean, I have no problems with photos like this on a personal level, but consent is everything, and there is no way Kate consented to that. That son of a bitch. So we're just leaving the files out. Uh, 
Uh, fairly standard Shibari shots. The soundtrack choices in this game are amazing. Chloe, slow down. Wait for me. I know exactly where I'm going. Look, this is it. This is it. Wow, I would have thought that was the end of the chapter. Or maybe it is. I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is going to get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Holy cow. Oh, shit. This is like that eclipse. You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is yeah, that? Can't be too Jesus, moved. Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> Well, if you consider half a beer drinking... Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so... 
I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm a pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs> I was going to take a break at this point because I thought that was going to be the end of the chapter, but apparently not. Okay, Chloe, where the hell are you? Ugh, I hate touching all these clothes. It is kind of nasty. Plus, some of the Vortex Club always give me attitude. Stella, that's what the... Uh, hi, Stella. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. Chloe. What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. I don't. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Money, money, money. Do you notice anything unusual about the Vortex Club tonight? Yeah, I noticed they don't give a shit about Kate Marsh. I'm glad for the job, but I think Principal Wells should have canceled the party. Guess I'm not cool enough. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. I love this song. Kick ass soundtrack. Since I got here, Max, are you okay? Your face looks so serious. Uh, I know. I'm, I'm not in party mode tonight. You look like you're on a secret mission. This is where it's going to end, for Rachel's sake. Oh, Max, you need a black whale break. I'm taking Brooke to a Miyazaki show in Portland. If you want to come along, more the merrier. Thanks, Daniel. I have to stay on my mission now. I hope you stay on yours and become a great artist. Well, I'll be celebrating someday in a museum next. Adios. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. 
I just hate that scrub and his glove. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Hunt. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? No, I, I was like talking Brooke. to Daniel. He asked me to go with him to the Portland Art Museum this weekend. Oh, um, that, that's so sweet. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guy. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. I, 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 maybe not a great line to use after someone threw themselves off a roof. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Hiding or something? Luke, I just I wish didn't someone see you. would kick Max. You're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I like the audio mix here that you can kind of hear the voices, but it's a nightclub. So the music is loud. It, it's kind of a good balance. I want to make sure he's not going to do, do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give Nathan an epic headbutt. Yes, give it up for brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. That'll be hard to do when the Prescotts own the town and the Vortex Club. I call it the Vortex Cult. Look at this crap. Dress code, VIP section, elitist bullshit. Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you for helping Kate and for keeping it real. Peace out. What's he going to say about the graffiti? Can I actually get back to look at the graffiti? Bigfoot on otter action. Yay. Hey, dude, that's a limp noodle you got there. Uh, I didn't want to rewind that far, but let's warn. Alyssa, incoming! I'm on it. Whoa. Of course you stepped up to protect me from another humiliating moment. Thank you, Max. Girl. Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. I can drink more later. Yo, maximum overdrive. About time you got here to save this lame rave. <laughs> you wanna get ripped? No. Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? 
Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just now with me. Oh, it's a Thursday. So yes. I should be board gaming sucks. with mum. You're obviously not cool with Trevor dating Dana. I try to front like I was. When I saw them together, I came over to cry like a little bitch. No, it's, it's more like somebody who's in pain. I'm sorry, Justin. But you're a cool, considerate guy, and you're gonna find somebody just as cool. Minus the drama. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. Gross. How did this even get here? Prince, you've been vomiting Good night, hour. sweet prince. This is my last vortex Maybe you're not the only one who has Somebody's either it. having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, First Max. one, then the other. Chloe must be around. Okay, so this isn't it. I'm surprised to see you here. I'm surprised to see anybody here considering that Kate just killed herself in front of everybody. I know. I only came because Warren was coming and I needed something else to vent about. This party is such a tribute to Kate's spirit. Kate deserves revenge. We have to make sure this doesn't happen to anybody else at Blackwell. I can tell you know some serious shit by your face. You don't have to tell me now, but please let me know if I can help, like you helped me. Alyssa! I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. Hmm, okay, this doesn't look like... Whoa, whoa, what the fuck is going on? Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, who stopped the music, okay? DJ, what the fuck? So I got past now without knocking it in. That's cool. Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. Oh, that makes sense. 
makes me want to pull a carry on the Vortex Club. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better... Zachary, if you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on the loop. You dance worse than my dad. Yes. I'm but glad Dana be. ended up with Trevor. Okay. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. How's the end of the world going? Great! This has been the worst fucking week of my life, so I needed to act like a carefree student tonight. For Kate. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. Hmm. The Vortex Club is also enabling him. I know. Juliet wrote a story describing it like a cult, and I'm starting to think she was right. It's not fun anymore. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Very few boys can. Should I warn her? The Vortex Club actually hired DJ Doom for the party. I think my photo is very powerful, but we'll see. Victoria, your picture so has to win. Yeah. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh killed herself in front of you and me, everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I don't blame you, Victoria, but you know Kate had a church group and that she didn't party. So, why did you send out that video? Oh, God. I swear we weren't even going to do it. Then we had some wine and got stupid. It's more than stupid. It's mean. Hateful. Kate never did anything to you. And that didn't stop you from taking one last video of her on the roof. I deleted that from my phone. Max, I saw Kate Marsh die. I swear it didn't feel real to me. I kept thinking, did I cause this? Did I? I felt like shit ever since. I believe you, Victoria, but I don't understand you. That makes both of us, Max. I always feel like I have to overcompensate. For what, I have no clue. I'm only here to become a photographer, not president. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. Yeah, Mr. Jefferson probably won't be choosing my photo. I'm not as talented as I thought. Yes, you are. But we shouldn't have to choose between talent and kindness. I hope. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fate we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen, but not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Victoria, enough! 
Enough of this high school bullshit. We're adults now. So listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know you're close to Nathan, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace. Dark. Oh my god. And I'm the drama queen? Touche. But I am not fucking around here. Sorry, but no. No way. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. I don't believe anything you say. You're full of shit. Oh, hi, I'm Max Caulfield, and I'm so sensitive that butterflies make me cry. Now, will you listen? No, I won't. You're just pissed because you didn't enter a photo in the contest and that Mr. Jefferson is going to pick me. A real artist would have busted ass to win, but you just want to take your little retro selfies. That is so fucking lame and lazy, Max. Just go find a community college. <gasps> Victoria, please don't do this. Especially after what happened with Kate. Can't you see I'm serious? That's your problem, Max. This is a party, and it's the end of the world, so I am going to get so wasted, even you won't bother me anymore. I'll let Nathan know if he finally shows up. Adios. Oh, man. We tried. Now if some shit starts okay, going down... Not gonna believe me over her vortex club partner. Hopefully, the fact that we've warned her means that if something starts to go down, she'll realize what might be happening. That son of a bitch is not here. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it. Oh, uh. Hey, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. Yeah, not really. I've seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost gone. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. I vaguely remember. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, look, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to the memory of Kate Marsh. She was the real everyday hero of Blackwell. Thank you. <laughs> Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Well, yes, I can. 
Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass. Now! Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. I thought I remembered entering and I, I don't know. Maybe I made a bad choice in this place. Christ. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. If anyone watching plays this through on their own, and I highly recommend you do, it'd be interesting to know if Max can... win. I want to play more games like this on the channel. I really so do. Out here. I just need to find them is the thing. Max, when we catch Nathan, you better rewind so I can kill him over and over. Look, I... we can't track Nathan if you're not going to be cool. Look, she's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, no. Chloe, look how, what the fuck? I don't remember this at all. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, I did not remember any of this. Sometimes it's good to have a really bad memory. I mean, it's possible I remembered some of this, but got it conflated with other stories I've seen. Wow. Oh, hey, Rockrat, I don't know how long you've been watching. What the ever-loving hell. So there's one more chapter to go. So this is definitely going to finish...
Well, fortunately, we know we've got the ability to go back in time and change things. So I'm assuming that's going to happen, but I still need to take a break. I am hoping to finish this today. So some of you are going to have to catch up with it in a VOD, I know, because I'm on an Australian time zone and there's nothing I can do with that. But wow. And I am planning on, after I do this, I will carry on maybe this weekend, maybe not with the next game, which is um, uh, Life is Strange Before the Storm, um, which is a shorter game than this, but um, set in the months before this game. Holy cow. So let's see how I went. Most people help Chloe. Stopping Warren from beating up Nathan is the most common. No one gets hurt. So most people, oh my God, you can actually get let Chloe kill Frank. Most people, I think, rewind so no one gets hurt. Oh, okay. There may there was a way for Victoria to believe my warning. Well, we'll see what happens there. That's the dark room. Well, I'm assuming it's the dark room because it's the the photography studio in the basement. Oh, this game is creepy. I remember it being a lovely little story. I don't remember it being this creepy. And there's still a tornado coming, of course. Wow. Well... Yeah, so I'm going to take a break for a couple of hours, two, two, three hours, and I plan on finishing the game today. I'm sorry that people will not be able to watch it live. Um, and, I mean, I there's not a lot of engaging with chat I can do during one of these streams. Um, but it, the VOD will hopefully be here for you um, tomorrow. If not, it's because other things have happened. I do have some things I need to do for Brimster Puzzles today. Um but holy cow. So I don't know, maybe I'll leave it for tomorrow morning. That might be a thing to do. So um, I'll make that call. So it's possible I will start this one off tomorrow morning and uh, finish chapter five then, take a break, um, do some other things first. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you're enjoying Life is Strange. And as I said, I, I plan on doing more of this style of game. Um, I will work through the Life is Strange series, which will give me after I finish Life is Strange, there'll be what, 13 more chapters to do. Um, and then I'll be looking for other games like this because I do love this style of game. Thank you, everyone. If you haven't seen the whole thing, I really recommend going back through. If you would like to play this game for yourself and make different choices, I highly recommend it. Leave it a few months, maybe, and um, so that you don't remember exactly what choices I made. Um, absolutely stunning stuff. Thanks, everyone, and I'm going to end the stream. As always, good luck with your life choices and avoiding tornadoes and stuff. Yeah. Bye, everyone.